Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and oh my gosh, my chipped tooth is like so profoundly obvious. Is it getting worse? I know, I have to draw attention to my ugly teeth, but whatever. This is just a really, really sh quick haul, like super, super quick. I picked up two items at Old Navy and one item at Target, and I just thought I'd share it with you guys because why not? It's fun. Um, Old Navy, I've been getting pop-ups on my Instagram. Well, not pop-ups, but uh, advertisements on my Instagram. Sorry, I dropped something. For several weeks now, uh, it, feels like, if it feels like I started getting them around the time I posted pictures of when I tie-dyed. And let me just say, first of all, how creepy is that? Like, I feel like if you mention something in the room where your phone is, like somehow it's hearing you like big brothery and it picks up on things and suddenly like your ads are focused around that thing. It doesn't even have to be something that you've done a search for on your computer. It's really, or your phone or whatever. It's really creepy. But anyway, so I did my tie dye and it seemed like almost immediately I started getting these ads for Old Navy and they were advertising these really, really cute tie-dye t-shirts and hoodies that they were selling. And it showed the t-shirts on sale for 10 bucks and the hoodies on sale for 20 bucks. Now I'm putting out there, I have shopped a handful of times with Ivory Ella, um, twice in Mystic, Connecticut, where they actually have a store. And then I think two other times online, their shit is really expensive. It's really nice. They do no donate, I think 10% of the proceeds to, um, animal, you know, conservation, which is cool, but their stuff is really expensive. So unless they're having like an amazing sale, I can't afford to buy their stuff. But they've had this tie-dye hoodie that I've been like lusting over for probably the three or four years that I've known about the brand's existence, but it's like $85. And I'm sorry, I am not a Kardashian. I can't afford to spend $85. They'd be like, Pfft. Oh, please, I'd pay $85 for, like, you know, something the size of my pinky finger. Um, but I, you know, I, I'm not that girl that could spend $85 on a sweatshirt. I can't, if I had the money even, I probably still wouldn't because I just, that's not who I am. But they, the Old Navy one looks awfully similar and I want it so badly and I finally for the first time found it in the store today but it was $39.99 so I guess the ad was just showing one it used to be on sale and it isn't anymore however the $10 t-shirts they had so yippee skippy I was super super stoked so I finally saw it and I had to get it the colors are so pretty and I could never do this pattern as we discovered actually I didn't do a video of my tie-dye the results of my tie-dyeing. I posted some pictures on my Insta at Persevering Star, like everything else, same with Twitter. But um, I didn't actually post a video about it, but I tried to do designs that like I saw online and actually they came out really crappy because the color didn't saturate through the fabric enough. Um, they're not really crappy. There's just a lot more white left on them than I would have hoped. The ones I did that I made up like random patterns those came out way cuter but the point being I could never do this pattern but look at how gorgeous these colors are so you get the pastel blue you get the this is like Jen this is your blue this is your like your turquoise your aqua blue um they have this beautiful lavender I'm thinking you Hallie they have this really pretty pink the gorgeous orange and then in the bottom the like sunny yellow and I just fell in love with it. And it's a pocket tee. And I cannot tell you, it's probably since high school that I bought my last pocket tee. I don't know why. Not for any particular reason. I think it's honestly just more because like back in high school when I had, you know, like no responsibilities and just, you know, would like if I got money for my birthday or babysitting or whatever, I would go to places like The Gap, which now that would be like so extravagant for me. Old Navy's about as wild as I roll or like Marshalls and stuff. I mostly shop in Walmart and Target for my clothes or thrift stores. But um, where was I going with that? Oh, I would buy a lot of shirts at The Gap and Gap just tended to have a lot of pocket tees. So like back in the day, you know, we're talking mid to late 80s, early 90s. I lived in like solid color pocket tees from the Gap, but I haven't had a pocket tee in ages. And now with the advent of like 
wanting my cell phone on me 24 seven, it's actually a pretty decent little cell phone pocket because not all shorts are, you know, when I wear leggings, which is 99.9% .9 of what I wear when I wear pants. Cause yeah, this body is not going to be putting on jeans anytime soon. Um, it's really convenient to have that pocket. So it was $18.99 original price, but it was on sale for the $10. So I was like, Ooh, that's awesome. And then when I saw the hoodie and I saw that that wasn't on sale, there were, there were a few tears shed, but I was happy to get this, but this was a complete surprise. I didn't even know they had these tanks. They technically consider this pink and blue, but I think of it more, it looks patriotic kind of to me. Doesn't it? I mean, I, it is technically, it's light pink and then I guess a darker pink and blue, but it's like, it's not a muscle shirt and it's not one of those like cami tanks. It's just like a normal tank, but with a v-neck, which I love. I think the v-neck uh, is such a flattering neckline, but I love the colors of this. And they didn't have extra large in this. They did, they did in the t-shirt, but as it so happened, the large fit because they're unisex. But a lot of times, even in unisex, I buy, um, I buy an extra large, but this actually in the large fit me as well as in the t-shirt. And this was originally 10. And it was on sale for four dollars i mean come on four dollars they actually had another one in different colors that had i think the same blue in it and then purple and like an orange or something and in retrospect i probably should have grabbed them both but i'm trying to exercise some restraint but basically for fourteen dollars i got both of those tops when the retail price on the t-shirt is $18.99 by itself so i was like yes i scored and i was really stoked about that and then i went to target and i saw these when they first came to target like probably end of may beginning of june for pride and um i didn't pick them up right away and then uh i'm gonna i'm gonna tell the truth i switch pins all right they didn't have these for the longest time and then they got them back in i guess since the last time i was there which i want to say was maybe the first yeah i think it was J july 1st and today's the 10th i was there with my friend debbie and they had one pack left and the ice cream cone one that i'm going to show you like the ice cream part was peeled off so it, they're adhered i don't think there's stickers on the metal but they're they're not the best made pins in the world but um i digress what else is new but they had two sets of four and um i fucked with them because i wanted the four that i wanted like one said ask me my pronouns which is very important and an you know essential thing to be out in the universe but because i am female cisgender and heterosexual and you know i'm not a member of the lgbtq community I felt like even though that's important, it's less important for me to have that pin than someone that is a part of one of those other, you know, one of those other groups. So I swapped out two of the pins for two other pins because I really wanted these four. So forgive me, Target, but they were all open. Like, I mean, they were in plastic wrap, but I, you know, I put them back in plastic wrap and whatever. And I know it's probably technically not cool that I did that, but I wasn't like I was stealing something. I was just swapping out. So I swapped away that one and I swapped away one that was just a simple rainbow only because I have a lot of rainbow pins. So these are the four that I got. This one that's, I know these are backwards. I try to reverse my videos, but sometimes it takes like forever to, to go through the process of mirroring it. So I apologize if I don't always do that. It's just exhausting to me. But I got Love is Love and then the ice cream cone and then the ally pin. And then I really liked this just pixelated looking heart. So I swapped out the Ask Me My Pronouns one for the ice cream cone. And I swapped out the ally one for one that was... um. I want to say it was pink and blue and maybe one other color and I had to Google I believe that is the transgender uh, rainbow since though you know those were not relevant to my personal situation so much I mean obviously the transgender one was not at all and then the um, ask me my pronouns like I said was not as relevant to me as a cisgender you know female so I you know wasn't super concerned about that for me but um, anyway, so these are the four I got and they were five bucks. And I was really surprised because generally um, I, I shop in Target's Pride section and when Pride Month ends, it's like the next day, they've already marked the stuff down. They haven't yet. And they still had a fair amount of stuff left, t-shirts, some more pin sets. Um, I can't remember, they had had some socks. 
I think bow ties. I, I didn't look through the whole section this time because I was really just interested in the pins. But um, yeah, so I mean, please try not to judge me too harshly for swapping them out. But um, you know, I think basically, I, I mean, one was missing a pin, so somebody obviously klepto it and that's far worse. And you know, if somebody else finds a set that doesn't have the four they want, they can swap them out too. And basically the only time it's gonna come to pass that it may potentially be an issue is when they get down to the very last pack. And chances are whatever's in that pack, the person would buy because they would want them. So yeah, I'm making excuses for myself, but I really, really like the four that I have. So anyway. That is all, my friends. Um, we started out, my husband and I, at the mall going to Buffalo Wild Wings. It was our first time dining in there. We only had Buffalo Wild Wings once, um, the 30th of June, when we did our little sweet escape overnight getaway out to Riverhead on the island. And um, we took the food, you know, we ordered the food, called ahead and picked it up and brought it to our hotel, which was literally right next door. So we just walked over and got it. And the food was so yummy. And I ended up ordering the exact same thing, which was the six piece um, boneless wings with the garlic Parmesan sauce or whatever. Yeah, I guess that was the sauce. And then um, for the app, we split the fried pickles. Oh my God, the best fried pickles I've ever eaten. And I've eaten them from a few places. They're so good. And then hubby got a, um, a, some kind of salad, some kind of wedge salad with chicken on it. And that was really good too. Uh, and then we split this chocolate cake with vanilla ice cream. Oh my God. It was so good. I really, really dig that place. That's a fun place. I had no idea. Like we're not sports bar people. We're not really into sports at all, except for the Olympics, which we're super excited for. I can't believe it's only like a few weeks away. And um, and we just started rewatching WWE, which we both grew up with separately with our families. And we, it was WWF back in the day. And I hadn't watched it since uh, my father passed away. No. Yeah, probably. Maybe a little bit. My dad died in 99. My brother died in 2012. I certainly hadn't watched it since after my brother died. But I mean, this was a thing that we watched, you know, on the weekends, like as a family. So I have strong feels for it. And uh, I just recently started watching again with Brian. I just, it was like Friday night. Friday Night Raw was on and Joe Bob Briggs, uh, Last drive-in had ended its season, so I needed something else to watch on Friday night. So I was like, do you want to watch wrestling? And now we're, like, really super enjoying it again. So we're watching Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. And I forgot what the Sunday one is called. But we're really having a lot of fun, like, reliving our childhoods and getting to know these new WWE stars. Some of whom are our offspring of the people we watched growing up, which is super cool. Go Natalia. I love Natalia. She's part of the Hart family, if you know WWE. I think she's awesome. And I'm really liking Alexa Bliss, too. If you watch WWE, you'll know who she is. To me, she's like the love child of Harley Quinn and the Joker. She's like a perfect blend of the two, and I just think she's so funny and entertaining. So, um, Anyway, so we're thinking, like, that might be fun to, like, go watch wrestling or something, maybe, at Buffalo Wild Wings sometime, so, yeah. But anyway, that's it for this video. Oh, my God, I'm so self-conscious about my chipped tooth. Ugh, like, I needed another flaw. Like, I'm not fucked up enough already, but anyway. Okay, shutting up. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye!